Good morning, Ponyville, and welcome back to my little investigations. My name is Kativo, and after the last very slow part, I think this time we are going to get a lot more progress. We can now talk to Rainbow Dash, and I notice we can also talk to the stump. Let's talk to the stump. Yeah, I've often thought that this tree stump seemed a bit strange. Yes, why? Logically, it should have been long since decayed or removed by now, mind you. But it's the fact that on some nights when the wind blows just right, I sometimes feel like it smells of bacon. What? How does Twilight even knows how bacon smells? She's a horse. A mystery of the universe, I suppose. Why? How? How does Twilight knows how bacon smells? She doesn't eat meat. Or does she? Twilight, what other things we don't know about you? Hmm. Bacon eating Twilight. Okay, Rainbow Dash, talk to me. Present evidence. It's, 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 it's. Present. Rainbow Dash, I know you aren't being truthful with me. Yes, you liar. What are you talking about, Twilight? 100% truthful, right here. Nope. Ugh. No, you are 100% lying. Yes. I already heard from Sweetie Belle that you not only know what this is, but also gave it to Scootaloo a short while ago. Ring any bells? Ring. Uh, nope. Never seen that before in my life. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, Twilight. Don't know what Sweetie Belle's talking about. <sighs> These days. Am I right? No. <sighs> Rainbow Dash, let me put it this way. This was found at the crime scene. It belongs to Scootaloo. That's all I know, and that's all the investigators from Canterlot are going to know, too. Is that what you want to happen? Mm hmm. Uh, Is it? Please, Rainbow Dash, you know something. I need to know what that is if I'm going to have any hope of clearing Scootaloo's name here. Element of loyalty? You know that thing you are that's supposed to make you stick by your friends and trust them? Yes. All right, all right. I'll I have something on my nose. It's itchy. <laughs> Scootaloo's whereabouts. Excuse me for a second. Oop. I uh, think about cutting that out. Whereabouts? Okay, tell me. Yeah. Yeah, I gave her that. <sighs> it was about, I don't know, a week or so ago. Okay. I was near the field by the school on weather duty, and Scootaloo was there too. I didn't think much of it, since she was there a lot. It's a nice open area to practice flying. I should know. I practice there a lot too. Anyways, this time was different. I had already said hi to her, and she didn't say anything. So I flew in closer to see what was going on. Hey, Squirt, why are you looking at me? You didn't stub your hoof or anything, did you? I'm not here for the fields. Oh, Rainbow Dash. I. Um. I. Aww. Sad. Sad picture and sad music. Hey, what's up? <laughs> um, I. I. <laughs> Aww. I didn't came here for the fields. I didn't know what in the hoof else to do, so I went back to my home, and then came straight back. And then, well... Here, Squirt, take it. 
What's this? A uh, ribbon? Not just any ribbon, Squirt. The ribbon. The ribbon? Ugh, yes, the ribbon. The one and only ribbon I got for winning the race where I got my cutie mark. Aww. Wait, you just gave it to her? Well, what else was I supposed to do? I've never seen her that upset, Twilight. I'm not good with Billy's. Oh, and I can, I can have this? On one condition, Squirt. You gotta treat it right. There's a story behind that ribbon, you know. That's not just the ribbon. It it's represents It's the God. ribbon. It represents guts. It represents a, uh, a don't give upness that everybody should have. <laughs> but most of all, it represents courage. The courage to stick up for you and your friends. The courage to not be afraid of stupid bullies. The courage to do something really super daring for you and your friends. You wanna fly, kid? You wanna earn a cutie mark? That's how you do it. Aww. So yeah, you can have this. If you promise to trust your friends and not to think they're gonna make fun of you. Cause I can tell you right now that no real friends of yours would do that. Got that, Squirt? Wow! Thanks, Rainbow Dash! You're the coolest ever! That is pretty cool. I'm impressed. But uh, wait, why didn't you want to tell me this? I'm not crying. Ugh, no. You wouldn't understand, Twilight. <laughs> I've got an image. I've got style. I've got awesomeness. <laughs> Coolness. Radicalness. And loudness. Totally on awesome. You've got to promise to never, ever, ever tell any pony, Twilight. <gasps> I'm like be ruined. Pinky promise. Well, all right, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> but I think there's one Billy who sure thought that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's be a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit more manly, manly, y'all. Now, I mean, who is crying over rainbow colored ponies? A ribbon belonging to Scootaloo. Star portion was torn off when Scootaloo crashed through Rarity's window, given to her by Rainbow Dash, who received it for winning the race during which she got her cutie mark. Rainbow Dash advised to Scootaloo, do something really super daring for you and your friends. You want to fly, kid? You want to earn a cutie mark? That's how you do it. Anyways, I... Did that all really happen? Did it? Did it? Huh? Huh? What? Yeah. Where did you come from? Oh. Forget that! How about you hear? <laughs> oh, I heard all of it. Lance said Scootaloo... And there's the happy music again. But I never thought you'd do something like that. I can't wait to tell Sweetie Belle about it. You shut your mouth. No, 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 no. You can't tell any pony. You can't... <sighs> hey, we're supposed to do a show and tell thing at school in a couple days. This'll be perfect. <laughs> we'll have the best show and tell ever. Ever? Right, I'm doomed. <laughs> okay. What are you doing here anyways, Apple Bloom? Well, I was looking for you. See, uh, well, that ribbon you got? Scootaloo kind of sort of really, really wants it back, and well, Sweetie Belle said you had it. So? <laughs> all right, all right. On one condition, though. Yes. I think it's about time I talk to Scootaloo about all this. How about you and I deliver this ribbon together? Well, I would, but I promise Scootaloo I wouldn't let any pony who wasn't a crusader into the clubhouse. No exception! Oh, so she is in the clubhouse then. <laughs> she, all the pony feathers, I did that hey. thing, didn't I? Watch your mouth, Apple Bloom. Come on, Apple Bloom. I can't clear her name without talking oh. to her about Hi, this. She has information I need to Say know, hi. I need to hear it from her. Say hi, Heinz. Say hi. He doesn't want to say hi. He just wants to see all the ponies with me. Huh? Yes. We want to watch all of the ponies. Okay, let's watch all ponies. Right, all right, all right. Yes. Then I won't be breaking my promise. Cool. <laughs> it's a deal. Only for today, though. Passive ability. The CMC are, uh, was <laughs> tight knit group and trust each other completely. If any CMC member doesn't want to talk about something, Apple Bloom might be able to change her mind. 
Active ability none. Apple Bloom is now your partner. Hey! Look, he's got a partner, Miss Partner Haver. Hmm. Yeah. Pinky. Huh. Pinky. Yes. I don't even know why you surprise me anymore. Oh, is there a surprise? Where's the surprise? What are you doing, Hines? I love surprises. Watch the ponies. No, don't watch the ponies. Okay. Yes, we love surprises. Uh, love, do you love anyway, surprises, Hines? Weren't you going to talk about partners? Oh, yeah. You've got a partner now, and that's just super de duperific. Okay, and uh, why? She's just walking me to the clubhouse. Of course she is. Once a pony's your partner, they'll walk with you everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Apple Bloom's just a little silly, so she can't do that yet. We'll have to talk about that part later. <sighs> hey, I'm a big pony. No, you're not. Well, duh. You just haven't found what your super special partner talent is yet. Kind of like a cutie mark. Okay. Thank you, Professor Pinkie Pie. <laughs> We ship it. Apple Sparkle. Twilight Bloom. Partner. Okay. That's not creepy at all. Come with me. My pet. My pet pony Apple Bloom. Pet pony partner. Pony pet partner. Du -du -du. Epic music. Why the fuck not? Let me in. The clubhouse. Ah, finally. So... About the noise in the clubhouse. Yes. I don't suppose I could go in and have a look? Uh, fine, Why not? Twilight, but the clubhouse is for official crusader business only. But no I am. Ponies allowed, except Applejack. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 Bloom, help me out here. Oh, it's all right. Oh, yes. I've made Twy here. Da, 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 da. For today. Yes. But so, and that's that is, racist. That's what makes her kind honorary. of. Duh. Duh. Oh, okay then. Welcome to our clubhouse, honorary cutie mark crusader. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sweetie Belle. Let's go in. Let's go inside. Ugh, Apple Bloom, I thought I told you not to let any non crusaders in here. Good voice acting. Very good voice acting. Okay. Oh, don't you worry about that, Scootaloo. I mean, twice here an honorary crusader for an a honorary day. crusader. You what? <laughs> Apple Bloom, Calm down, this Scootaloo. You Calm just down. Do on your own. Oh, but she found oh. your ribbon. Ain't it worth something? She, she did. Really, really. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, did. I love her giggle. Oh, oh, oh! Give it here. Hey. Hold your horses there, Scootaloo. Uh -huh. First, I have a few things to ask about. Yes. If I may. Uh, Heinz, you are very, very warm, and it's already warm enough outside. Uh, go over here. So, let's continue with the ponies on a more serious level, because ponies are serious business. You want this ribbon back? Yes. Right. So I just gonna blackmail you. Fine, fine. Make it quick. <laughs> okay. Now what? <laughs> Now I have cat hair all over myself. Hmm, can we look at something? No, just Scootaloo? Okay, just Scootaloo. Scootaloo. Talk to I me. I have to ask you about last night. Oh, Finally. Uh, last oh. night? Last night. Yes, last night. Or more specifically, where you were last night. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about, Twilight. <sighs> I think you do, Scootaloo. I I've think you do. To Apple Bloom about some of it. Apple Bloom? <laughs> uh, what did she say, Twilight? I know that you three were around Town Square. So perhaps we should start there. Yes. Tell me everything. Skip. Skip. Is everything alright, Twilight? Well, yes. It's Why? just that right around here is usually when. Hi! <laughs> right on schedule. There she is. Oh my gosh, Twilight, this is exciting! Why? Come across a... <gasps> 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 
And that's uh -huh. what exactly? Now, these are a whole lot like interrogations, but except they're longer and cooler. <laughs> longer? When he totally presents some evidence and show that pony who's boss, then Me. I am boss. They're not gonna give him right away. That wouldn't be any fun. They don't call me Twilight Boss Sparkle for nothing. Oh no, it'd be so terrible if some pony around here actually just told me something. <laughs> Oh god. What? Well, I can do that. But uh oh, here's a part that might equal frowny wowny. No. You present the wrong evidence too many times. Well, then it's all over, Buster. What? Your ponies are never gonna tell you anything. What? But wait, what? What do I do then? Load the game? Oh. Well, then you just start over. <laughs> Great. Oh. Vacation will start back over like nothing ever happened. Okay. Pinky, I don't think conversations work that way. They do in video games. Uh, like I asked Pinky. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. At least some pony is. <sighs> yes. Okay. Yes, she is. Let's get to it then. What? Wait. So I, I have to do this all over. Don't worry. Every damn time I fail. And I probably will fail a lot. Right? Yes. Yes. Why, Pinky? And I have something in my eye again. That's a start. Ah, yes. Sorry, guys. But now it's time to put everything together. Ah. Anyways, okay, Lulu, let's play the puzzle game. And your comedy routine. Oh, oh. Fight? It was supposed to be a secret. But yeah, we've been working on a comedy routine for Rarity's birthday. I imagine you already heard that much from Apple Blabbermouth. Press for info. I didn't tell her right away, Scootaloo. She used like her big detective brain on me. Yes. Stand a chance. I went possess on her. I have no idea if that was a compliment or sarcasm. <laughs> so I'll take it as the former. Yes. Out of curiosity. Why Rarity's birthday? I can see you doing something like this for Cheerilee, but this is different. Sweetie Belle's idea. Think, think, she think. To do something for her sister and somehow roped us into this. Okay. I told her that under no circumstances were we going to do something all touchy feely or rarity, so that was kind of a compromise. <laughs> we haven't done comedy in a while, so it seemed like an okay idea to me. All right. Well, when were you practicing this comedy routine? We started pretty late in the evening around Town Square, so we could be there when there weren't any ponies around. Pretty late at Town Square. Okay. We made some pretty good progress, if I do say so myself. I mean, I'd hope we did, considering we were there for like over an hour. Press for info. Out of curiosity, may I ask what sort of comedy routine this is? Tell me. No. Why not? You already know too much, Twilight. Hey. You're getting one more peep out of me. It's supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, Twilight. We're on to you. I ain't telling you one more bit. Hey, you're my partner. You're supposed to help me. Yeah, and I'm totally not gonna tell you that I designed costumes for it. <laughs> Sweetie Belle. <laughs> Please. Wait. If you you're did? here, then who's guarding the clubhouse? Mm. Note to self. Tartarus have no fury like a cutie mark crusader scorn. <laughs> and that's about it. Hell have no fury. We're still not there yet, but I think we're getting there. Not sure why you were wondering about this, but there it is. Press for info? Oh, just, uh, curiosity. It never killed the pony, right? Hmm. 
Please stop staring at me like that, Scooby. <laughs> the death stare. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to try to make her be more specific if I have a hope of getting somewhere. Okay. It was supposed to be a secret, but yeah, we've been working a comedy routine for Rarity's birthday. Mm. Do something really super daring for you and your friends. You want to fly, kid? You want to? That's how you do it. Okay, so I have to present evidence to every single thing she says. That's probably the counter on the right, the three. But. But, 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 but. Well, you started pretty late in the eve. Yes, yes, yes. There was one thing I didn't press for info, I think. This one. Yeah. That's what happened when you started. What happened after you started? Yes. Were you just working on that routine? Nothing else? Well, yeah. Can't say we did much else. <sighs> Can't mm. see much out of place so far, at least. But she All right. took a break. Maybe you could tell me what you did do? After we got started, we got into our routine. No, 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 no. We were working on it nonstop until we called oh, it a night. There's nothing new. Uh, we made some pretty one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's getting more. It's getting more. Let me get started. Yes. Just a minute. You didn't do anything else until you called it a night. Nothing at all. That's what I just said, Twilight. Okay. Hmm. Didn't Apple Bloom say something about this? Yes. We made some. Um, Everloom's testimony. That's what I. Wait a second. Not yes. Entirely non-stop. I'm afraid. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm so smart. Huh? Purpose smart. I happen to know that you three took a break part of the way through your practice session. Yes. And I also happen to know that neither Apple Bloom nor Sweetie Belle knew where you were during that time. <laughs> Apple Bloom. <laughs> Sorry, Scootaloo. Well, what about it? Huh? <sighs> Maybe we did take a break and I went off somewhere else. What about it? Does where did you went? Thing? It's not like you know where I was. Oh yes, Rarity's Boutique. Uh, pair of tire tracks. Hmm. Actually, I do. This evidence reveals where you were. Uh, no. I don't think it does. Yes, it does. Oh. Right. I guess not. Weren't that the tire tracks? Anyway, All you can prove is that we took a break and that I didn't stick around. It's not like you know where I was. Where was she? Apple Bloom's cutie macro cider okay. cave. A torn piece was found outside the carousel boutique today. Fixed by rarity this morning. Oh yes, we found this. How's this? Actually, I, do. I think I have a pretty good idea of where you Yes, are. yes, yes, the ribbon. The ribbon. I talked to Rarity earlier <laughs> and learned that she witnessed an orange and purple pony running out the door after she discovered... It's actually, actually pretty exciting. Like a fanfic reading itself for me. And I, and I love fanfics. this ribbon just outside the window to her boutique. Not to mention there were tire tracks that look suspiciously like the scooters. That what... That, uh, that was what I was trying to say before, Sound but... Yet, oh well. <laughs> ha! Well, actually, no, can't say it is. Twilight Bus Sparkle. Uh, what? what? Come on, Twilight, none of that points to me. Listen to yourself. Yes, it I does. I through a window to break in. I mean, that's gonna hurt. Not to mention make a lot of noise. And why in the world would I steal anything from some pony whose sister I'm friends with? That's, that's not what no I sense. That's not what I said. All you got is circumstantial evidence. I don't know whether to be annoyed by her stubbornness or impressed by the fact that she correctly used the phrase circumstantial evidence in a sentence. <laughs> Stay cool, Twilight. You already know what you need here. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Find ways to prove it to her. 
Okay. Honestly, Twilight, I can't believe this. You're accusing me of stealing from my best friend's sister? What's gotten into you? Just a minute. Press for info. Scootaloo, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm simply stating facts. Please calm down and trust me on this. <laughs> I'm not gonna calm down when you're talking Jesus. about this. Jesus. Give me a break, Twilight. Give me one good reason why I steal from her. No, not even just from her. From any pony. Damn, she's angry. Just a minute. Uh, listen to me, Scootaloo. I'm not saying you stole from her or any pony else. If you are, then why are you talking all about how Rarity saw me and how I broke her window, huh? Did I mention that? Because others are going to think you actually did it, Scootaloo. <clears throat> At face value, it looks like an awfully high-profile heist. Mm hmm? I didn't steal anything, Twilight! I'm not a thief, and you can't prove otherwise! Just a minute! Holy no, shit! This is going to take a while. Then what's all this about? I don't know what your game is, Twilight, but I don't want to play! <sighs> I'm sorry for doing this to you, Scootaloo. But the truth has to come out if I'm going to be able to help you in this. Yes. I hate to say it, but I think some pony very close to you accidentally gave you a motive here, Scootaloo. Even if you didn't actually do it. A um, motive? Honestly, Twilight, I can't believe this! You're accusing me of stealing from- uh, <laughs> Give me one good reason- Oh! After I, 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 I present the first evidence, the complete dialogue changes. Okay, okay, okay. Why? Well, I didn't steal anything. I'm not a thief. Good reason I'd steal from her. Not even just from her, from any pony. Present evidence. Cutie Mark Crusader. Okay. White strands. Ribbon. Hmm. Now it's getting complicated. Fastest fly on all of Christria can be a little brash and prone to arrogance, but always comes through to her friends when it really counts. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Maybe the cape? Maybe Apple Bloom's cape? I didn't say you steal something. Hmm. They all talk about stealing, but that's not the point I'm trying to get here. Or is it? Rarity, maybe? Hmm. Hasn't been seen since last night. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, uh, nope. Twilight, what in Equestria are you doing? What? Um, well, this evidence. No. Proves nothing. Yes. I see that much already. <sighs> right, right. Ouch. Can't bluff this one, Twilight. I better think this one over before responding again. Okay. I didn't steal anything. Just a minute. Press for no info. Something I'm close so to her, but the truth has to come out if I'm going to be able to help you on this. I but I think some pony very close to you accidentally gave you a motive here. Even if you didn't actually do it. Honestly, Why should she steal something? We took a break during which time me and Sweetie Bill hung out on the bridge, but I don't know where Scootaloo was at the time. You wanna fly? You wanna earn a cutie mark? That's how you do it. Do something really super daring for you and your friends. Exactly. Something... Maybe something stupid. But on which point? It has to be this one. Give me one good reason. Exactly. Has to be this one. Wait a second. All right. Am All I right? right? What? I can, in fact, provide a motive for why you'd want to steal... Yes, 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 yes. Uh-huh. Scootaloo, I know that a short while ago, 
Rainbow Dash gave you a very special ribbon of hers and told you a few choice words. Among those, however, was the instruction that you should do something very daring for you and your friends. <laughs> I trust you know where I'm going with this. If you really did do a bold heist of Rarity's boutique in the middle of the night to steal her most precious jewel, that would certainly be awfully daring. Exactly. Uh, what? No, Twilight, oh, no. one more to go. Okay. Yeah. I never. You remember those tricks that Rainbow Dash did at the best young flyer competition, right? I had to try one of those out. The rainbow? Of course I can fly, so well, I kind of have to make do with what I can do. You remember that trick where she spun clouds around, right? Yes. Awesome. Squirrel. Well, not as awesome as the Sonic Rainbow, of course, but I figured, you know, maybe I'd work up to that. <laughs> nice and round, so I've been practicing going around it at top speed. I'm getting pretty good at it. Oh, and then she lost control. The point is, that was not what I had in mind when she gave me that advice at all. Okay. All right, Scootaloo. I believe you. Scootaloo's trick. Scootaloo has been practicing a scooter trick in which she circles around and around the carousel boutique. On, and then Sarah, she saw Opal or Opal appeared in front of her and she had to weak. Even you have to admit it. Yes, 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 yes. True. First, there's a window itself. I mean, really, Twilight, you're going to claim that the road. Uh, let's just start from the beginning and press for info. Wait a All I'm doing, Scootaloo, is putting together the evidence as best as I can to see what it tells us. Well, you're not doing a very good job of it, I can tell you that. <laughs> Patience, Twilight. Patience. First, there's the window itself. I mean, really, Twilight? You're going to claim that I roll directly towards the window and crash through it? Why in the hoop would I do that? I never said that. Just a minute. I don't know, Scootaloo. Why don't you tell me why you'd do that? Well, I... Ugh. Nice try, Twilight. <laughs> Worth the shot. Second, if all the rarity said was what color the pony was, then that could have been any pony. We're pretty colorful, you know. Unless you have evidence that only I could have fit that description. Hmm. Just a minute. Scootaloo, what other pony around here is orange and purple? Well, you're pretty purple, Twilight. <laughs> and Applejack sure is orange. Who's to say that you two didn't team up to rob Rarity, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Note, Note to self. Phillies have, have hyperactive imaginations. Mm-hmm. Really, this is some pretty darn weak evidence, Twilight. Hmm. I don't know what you did to make the others talk, but if this is your best, I'm not impressed. Just a minute. Uh, weaker not, Scootaloo. It's what the team from Canterlot is going to have to work from if they arrive before this is resolved. And trust me, they aren't as interested in the genuine truth as I am. Please, Twilight, if they're as dense as I remember them being, you really think that they're gonna be able to do anything at all? <sighs> That's not a chance I want to take. And even if they do get nowhere, then the real thief is still at large. So, are you gonna talk to me or not? Or not. I just can't. Sorry, Twilight. <sighs> Guess we're doing this the hard way. As usual. Okay. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere here without some solid evidence. I must be able to answer one of these questions she's asking. But the question is, which? Come on! Okay, okay, okay. Even you have to admit that it's... Yes, yes, that's true. First, there's the window itself. I mean, really. You're going to claim that I rode directly towards the window and crashed through it. Why in the hoof would I do that? Second, if... Unless you have evidence that I... That only I could fit the description. The tire tracks. Hmm. Nope. I know it sounds far fetched, Scootaloo, but this shows that it's the truth. Why, like, quit wasting my time? Okay. <laughs> Two more tries. Sorry. Come on, Twilight. First, make sure you've got what you need for this one. Second. The tricks. I need the tricks. 
Don't weak evidence, Twilight. I don't know what you did to make others talk, but if this is your best, I'm not impressed. Mm hmm. <laughs> Maybe this one has been breaking a scooter trick. La la la, I'm running out of ideas. This one. Wait a second. No, actually, I'm not going to claim that you rode directly towards the window because that's not what happened. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, then what? You said it yourself. You've been practicing going around the carousel of the at top speed, right? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. What do you think might happen if, say, opalescence were to suddenly be in the way? We did find her hair near the tire marks, after all. Mm hmm. You'd have to swerve pretty hard to avoid hitting her, right? Hard enough that you might leave tire marks and lose control of your scooter. Hmm. And then perhaps crash and be launched accidentally through the window of her boutique. Hmm. Am I getting warm, Scootaloo? That sounds very, very wrong. Bingo! Bullseye! Can't get warmer than that! Enough already! I <sighs> Do you think now you might be willing to finally tell me what happened that night? Have a bloom? Well, I can help you, Scootaloo. I, I can just feel it. <sighs> all right, all right. No more running, hiding, or dodging. I'll yes. just give it to you straight. Not much else to do now, right? Right. <sighs> you already know most of it, so, well, I won't bore you with those details. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, I was practicing that trick. Olba got in front of me. I tried to avoid her and wham! Before I knew it, wham. I was flying through that window. I, um, I guess the star from my ribbon got caught on something was torn off when I did. Honestly, I didn't see much when I was there. I saw some dark figures who I think got startled when I crashed through the window. They ran away pretty quickly after I did. I heard one of them trip, at which point I heard out, well, a pretty scary growl and a yell, as well as the sound of, well, something getting ripped. By a claw, I guess? It didn't take me long to figure out what was going on and that I needed to get the heck out of here, so I ran as quickly as I could. And, well, that's about it, really. I totally forgot about the scooter when I left since I was in such a panic, so I came back and got it later. I hadn't actually thought about what happened to your scooter until just now. Any reason you bring that up? It's strange, Twilight. I feel like there are thousands of ponies somewhere out there, watching us, looking closely for missing information, and judging us harshly if they find any. What? That's oddly specific. <laughs> Call it a Philly's instinct. Well, thanks, Scootaloo. I think it's about time to give Parasol Boutique a second look. Yes. Oh, and before I forget, here's your ribbon back. Sorry to have used it as a bit of a bargaining chip. <laughs> Yay! Remove from evidence. Okay. You no longer have a partner. Okay. I am all alone. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that was a pretty... Long but interesting part. I think I can't really cut much out of it, so we are stuck at a 40 minute mark, more or less. And yes, in the next part we return to Carousel Boutique, talk to Rarity, and probably probably look inside. And yes, until now, I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time. Yes, there. Yes, do this. Come on, jump over me. Yes. Yes. Jump over me. Yeah, this works. Awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning Ponyville and welcome back to my little investigations. My name is Kativo 
And after the last very slow part, I think this time we are going to get a lot more progress. We can now talk to Rainbow Dash and I notice we can also talk to the stump. Let's talk to the stump. I've often thought that this tree stump seemed a bit strange. Yes, why? Logically, it should have been long since decayed or removed by now, mind you. But... It's the fact that on some nights, when the wind blows just right, I sometimes feel like it smells of bacon. What? How does Twilight even know how bacon smells? She's a horse. A mystery of the universe, I suppose. Why? How? How does Twilight know how bacon smells? She doesn't eat meat. Or does she? Twilight, what other things we don't know about you? Hmm. Bacon eating Twilight. Okay, Rainbow Dash, talk to me. Present evidence. It's, 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 it's. Present. Rainbow Dash, I know you aren't being truthful with me. Yes, you liar. You're talking about Twilight, one hundred percent truthful, right here. Nope. Ugh. No, you are one hundred percent lying. Yes. I already heard from Sweetie Belle that you not only know what this is, but also gave it to Scooter. Just want to be just like you, but I'm not awesome, and I never will be. Because when you were my age, you already got your cutie mark and helped every pony else. I haven't done anything! Squirt, I mean, Scuttle, stop. You know what you're talking about, kid. Uh huh? Alright, look. Wait right here, kid. <sighs> I mean it. I'll be right back. I didn't came here for the fields. I didn't know what in the whole house to do, so I went back to my home, and then came straight back. And then, well. Here, Squirt, take it. <laughs> What's this? A uh, ribbon? Not just any ribbon, Squirt. The ribbon. The ribbon? Ugh, yes, the ribbon. The one and only ribbon I got for winning the race where I got my cutie mark. Aww. Wait, you just gave it to her? Well, what else was I supposed to do? I've never seen her that upset, Twilight. I'm not good with Billy's. <laughs> and I can... I can have this? On one condition, Squirt. You gotta treat it right. There's a story behind that ribbon, you know. That's not just the... It was a short while ago. Ring any bells? Ring. Uh, nope. Never seen that before in my life. <laughs> Sorry, Twilight. <laughs> I don't know what Sweetie Belle's talking about <sighs> these days. Am I right? No. Rainbow Dash, let me put it this way. This was found at the crime scene. It belongs to Scootaloo. That's all I know, and that's all the investigators from Canterlot are going to know, too. Is that what you want to happen? Hmm. Uh, Is it? Uh. Please, Rainbow Dash, you know something. I need to know what that is if I'm going to have any hope of clearing Scootaloo's name here. Element of loyalty? You know that thing you are that's supposed to make you stick by your friends and trust them? Yes. All right, all right. I'll talk. I have something on my nose. It's like itchy. <laughs> Scootloose whereabouts? Excuse me for a second. Oop. I uh, think about cutting that out. Whereabouts? Okay, tell me. Yeah. Yeah, I gave her that. <sighs> it was about, I don't know, a week or so ago. Okay. I was near the field by the school on weather duty, and Scootaloo was there too. I didn't think much of it, since she was there a lot. It's a nice open area to practice flying. I should know. I practice there a lot too. Anyways, this time was different. I had already said hi to her, and she didn't say anything. So I flew in closer to see what was going on. Hey, Squirt. Why are you looking Aww. around? You didn't stub your hoof or anything, did you? I'm not here for the fields. Oh, Rainbow Dash. I, um, I... Aww. Sad, sad picture and sad music. Hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> I... I... <laughs> Aww. I've been out here every single day because the other ponies in school make fun of me. Because I'm a Pegasus who can't fly. And I really, really want to fly. I just can't, and, and I don't know how! And, and, I can't 
can't tell Apple Bloom or Sweetie Belle about it. Because they might laugh at me too. Because they're all good at stuff. Not good at stuff. And I don't know what to do. How, how come I'm the only pony who can't do what she's supposed to be able to do, huh? It's not... It's not fair. I mean, sure, she gets down sometimes. But I've never seen her like this, Twilight. I didn't know what to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Squirt. What are you... And, and you're so awesome, and I... Ribbon. It it's represents... Ribbon. Uh, it represents guts. It represents a, uh, a don't give upness that everybody should have. <laughs> but most of all, it represents courage. The courage to stick up for you and your friends. The courage to not be afraid of stupid bullies. The courage to do something really super daring for you and your friends. You want to fly, kid? You want to earn a cutie mark? That's how you do it. Aww. So yeah, you can have this. If you promise to trust your friends and not to think they're going to make fun of you. Because I can tell you right now that no real friends of yours would do that. Got that, Squirt? Wow! Thanks, Rainbow Dash! You're the coolest ever! That is pretty cool. I'm impressed. But, uh, wait, why didn't you want to tell me this? I'm not crying. No. Oh, you wouldn't understand, Twilight. <laughs> I've got an image. I've got style. I've got awesomeness. <laughs> Coolness. Radicalness. And loudness. Totally on awesome. You gotta promise to never, ever, ever tell any pony, Twilight. My <gasps> life will be ruined. Pinky promise. Well, all right, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> but I think there's one Billy who sure thought that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's be a little.